Up next, an elementary school student gives back to a place that's had a special impact on his life. And FISD students get a taste of what it's like in the real world of networking. All of this is coming up next. Season 8 of Frisco ISD TV starts now. I'm Natasha Burkwell. And I'm Michael Ramirez. Thanks for joining us. We start things off with its elementary, my dear, where SunTag Elementary rallied together to help a student reach his goal. Cassidy Freeman has more. Scottish Rite Hospital has helped many children. One in particular is a Frisco ISC student with a big goal of giving back. SunTag Elementary had many surprises in store for Luke's Toys for Joy. So on the count of three, we're going to have Luke turn around and we're going to look at all the toys that we donated, okay? Can we do that together? Yeah. All right. All right. One, two, three. During an assembly, the school revealed toys they collected for Luke to help support a hospital of which he has a long history. I've been treated since a very long time and this is just a thing that I decided I was wanting to do a joint drive for Scottish Rite Hospital. Luke has been going to the Scottish Rite Hospital since he was six months old and um, so it's been a part of his life and his routine for seven years now. He's been treated for infantile scoliosis pretty much since he's been born. He had a 72 degree curve and they've gotten it down to about 42 right now, 45 somewhere in there. Persistence paid off for Luke's dream. He wanted to give back to the Scottish Rite and he kept bugging me and bugging me and I was like, yeah. And finally one day he wouldn't give it up and so I said, I don't know what that'll look like, but we'll do it. And he was really inspired when he saw a toy drive that was making sure that children in hospitals got those toys. So Luke said, I want to do that too. And I want to make sure that those toys go to a hospital that means so much to me. Positive Actions within Sontag, our PAWS group, they are our leadership kiddos in the school. They teamed up with Luke for his Toys for Joy and were able to help serve the Scottish Rite community and we were so happy to be able to do that today. I think you guys, you guys walked. Hopefully these toys will provide a lasting memory for Luke and the children receiving them. It brought SunTag together, giving others a chance to play. I'm Cassie Freeman for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Cassidy. It's great to see a student at such a young age give back to the community. I know. I hope this becomes a model for other schools to follow. This middle school was given a power play when a professional hockey team visited their campus. Brian Barisa takes center ice in the middle of it all. New ideas are stemming from students as the Dallas Stars show Stafford Middle School new goals. The National Hockey League and the NHL Players Association have launched the Future Minds program. Members of the Dallas Stars team brought the ice to Stafford Middle School to educate students on how science, technology, engineering, and math all apply to the sport. The actual program itself that they had was quite intricate and cool. So at first I wasn't interested until I started playing with it a little bit. The games made on the educational programming website EverFi gave students a chance to apply STEM concepts outside of the rink. They're going to the future of our nation. We, we need to you know, teach them and, and take time with them. And you know, it, it's, it's a cool way to learn different classes through hockey. The players then skated to the gym for a panel discussion, giving Stafford an overtime experience. What's your hockey idol growing up and why? Um, I wouldn't expect them to come out into um, a school and make a program in order to teach students about what they do. Um, I thought that was really special that they did that. Learning through sport is a great, great way to learn and um, you know hockey was always a, uh, on my mind and so if it would have been tied into school I probably would have done a little better. 
With these cool opportunities, hopefully students will swing in the right direction as they step ahead into the world. I'm Brian Barisa for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Brian. We now flip the page to show how elementary students were given a dose of French. Aaron Davis has the story in Higher Learning. French 3 students at Lone Star High School are saying bonjour to Phillips Elementary, bringing history into the classroom. Well, I always like to bring a pop project to publication, and since they were writing a book and they're combining it with a French historical figure, it kind of made sense that this would be the culmination of the project. This foreign exchange benefited both age groups. I got to learn a lot more in depth, and uh, it was a lot of fun making the book and t talking to kids. I got to learn more about like a French actress and I got to learn like how to use my sentences in French and how to use like the correct tense of things. So. They were very like factual and they were nonfiction. It was nice to learn about history of France. Conversations enhanced learning. I heard one of the students speaking French to the younger students so they're getting to showcase what they know. You don't really understand French until you like actually have to use it. You want to say how are you? You say, Sava. This lesson has also encouraged students to go beyond the language. At first I thought it was going to be hard, but now I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of interesting French people there are. I was like very interested, in, and even there was there was pictures, I imagined my own pictures in my head. This story between Lone Star and Phillips has been eye-opening. When like you read a book about stuff that you really don't know about, it kind of gives you information, and you're like, Oh, I never knew that. It's really good for the little ones, especially to see the older students and kind of see what they're learning and see, you know, the growth that they can have as um, they get older. We got to write all of the books ourselves. So with just sort of writing the books and everything, just sharing the little kids and like seeing their reactions and everything is just really, really cool. That's the last page of this history book. Hopefully this stop gave students an experience that will travel with them for many years. I'm Erin Davis for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Aaron. I wish I could have had high schoolers teach me a new language when I was in elementary school. Oui, madame. That definitely sounds like fun. Have you heard anything on the new high schools being built in the district? Yeah. Number 9, Lebanon Trail, opens in 2016, and there are two more high schools in the works. Architecture and graphic design students are creating a special piece for high school number 10. Frisco ISD TV's Oscar Mihangos finds out what's being constructed in high tech happenings. Frisco ISD CTE Center students were handed the opportunity to create a sculpture that will be shared for generations to come. We did a cross-curricular project with the architecture students and the advanced graphic design students working with Stantec architecture, like you would in a real office environment because that is what career and technical education is about. The project was to create a monument that will be going in front of Memorial High School that incorporates four major words, sacrifice, patriotism, service, and freedom. It's kind of a group effort. You had different ideas coming from different people. You had things that you wouldn't have thought of before. So I can't say that it was my mind because it wasn't. It's, it's our mind. Memorial High School is the district's 10th high school scheduled to open fall of 2017. The students' efforts in designing a structure for the entryway stood tall. They blew it out of the water. They, uh, they surprised me, they surprised Ms. Bacon, they surprised the architects as well. At first I think it was a little intimidating for them. After a while they got used to the critiques, they got used to refining the projects and uh, they did a really good job. You know, really I'm just impressed by uh, the level of thought that went into each design. I think they all addressed the design criteria that we had set up from the beginning. Each one sort of had its own focus that was much different from the others. The one that surprised me the most was, was the concept um, with the tree as a central element and the idea of a living object being the focus point of a mo monument didn't come until the end of the last critique we had with that group. The project stretched the students beyond their comfort zone. However, it presented future opportunities. Well, there was a lot of critique going on and working with that critique was definitely a challenge. There were a lot of boundaries that we couldn't move out of. Rather than making something on Photoshop on the computer, we had to think of something in a broader 
model scale to explore something different and to see different types of graphic design we could pursue later in life or if you still wanted to go back to making t-shirts and logos like we do. Of the six presentations, three final concepts have moved on. The winning design will be chosen by both Stantec Architecture and the Frisco ISD board. We're going to take a look at all of the ideas and then it may not be one, it may be a combination of several and then we'll review them uh, within our group and then with the faculty here and then come up with a solution. I'm Oscar Mijangos for Frisco ISD TV. Looks good as they plan to leave their mark on Memorial. Thanks Oscar. There's an event in the district that brings students and professionals together. Miranda Alexander has the connection. Students in independent study and mentorship are getting down to business with guidance from professionals. Business Symposium is the first main event for ISM that our students have the opportunity to, to do mock interviews, dress professionally, and network with professionals. So we bring in volunteers from the community, everything from CEOs to doctors, students get a chance to meet with them and do everything from meet and greet that you see here behind me. This annual Business Symposium merges students and industry leaders to provide valuable lessons. It just brings you into this place where you've never been to before and just allows you to mingle, which is something that kids our age aren't really used to. It's really special to get to meet people from different careers and get their advice on colleges and job opportunities. We're learning from some people about uh, brand appeal, how to market ourselves, and also just you know get to meet people, network in the ISM program itself and outside. It really gives you experience uh, talking with professionals and it's a great opportunity. This event opens doors for ISM students. ISM is the Independent Study and Mentorship Program and it's where the juniors and seniors get a chance to go out to the community and find their own mentor. Students are uh, hand chosen through an application process and they take part in research on an, any career or study that they choose and then they have the opportunities to go on interviews with professionals throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area and then they find a mentor that they get to study under throughout the rest of the year so they can really gain a good first-hand experience of their field of study. It allows you to pursue your passion. It allows you to grow in what you want to grow and it's just a class where you can just pick what you want to do and just do it. According to ISM teachers, the program has grown so much that they have to divide the business symposium into two parts one for the east side of the district and the other for the west. It gives students an expanded public reach. And try and get our names out there, let these guys know what we're doing, and possibly, you know, find some contacts, some people we can talk to, which is all this is really about, is getting used to, you know, talking to people, building relationships. Oh my goodness, there's nothing like it. So a chance to learn how to mingle, first of all, but also how to network and market themselves. They also get a chance to do that practice interview, which for a lot of kids is just like a step above and gets them ready for the real world. Hopefully, the year will reward these potential job holders with even more new experiences. I'm Miranda Alexander for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Miranda. We wish them the best of luck in their future studies. That wraps up our show. Join us next time on Frisco ISD TV when we swing into a story about a young golf sensation. And skate with the student who's chasing her Olympic dreams. I'm Natasha Burklow. And I'm Michael Ramirez. Thanks for watching.